I know in Franklin Regional High School, almost every student has some form of media on their device. Whether it's Snapchat, Instagram, or TV, you're being shown portrayals of different body types and how they affect a person. In the world, there are about 4.48 billion people who have some form of media. We can all say that they look great and look perfect, but what is perfect? These images may seem like normal Instagram photos to the naked eye, but the images are warped and fixed to the point of unrealistic body standards being formed within media users. Modern day media portrays unrealistic versions of the human body. Those unrealistic versions set us up for unrealistic body standards, then that can lead to developing mental health issues, which leads to creating bad habits. The fact that so many people own social media and we still face the inaccurate image portrayals that the media provides of bodies. The media currently acts as a foundation for the spread of unrealistic body images and the persuasion of ideologies surrounding the inaccurate standards that people have been influenced to support. The article Studies Say Social Media Prompts Body Image Discussion by Kayla Mullenix is, has a direct claim about the media's spread of inaccurate portrayals by stating, Additionally, girls who watch TV three or more nights a week were 50% more likely to describe themselves as being too fat. This is a direct relation back to the claim that due to media, young women often find themselves persuaded to believe that they are too big when being compared to women featured on TV that are marked as desirable with their body types. The influence of a delusional view on bodies is not just limited to a TV standpoint, but there's also a social media standpoint. This is proven from the quote, models with non-existent waistlines or celebrities sipping fad diet smoothies, but images on social media are hardly reflective of reality. Any picture can be edited to exaggerate a thigh gap or a deep defined collarbone. So for young women struggling with body insecurity, social media creates a toxic culture of unrealistic expectations and comparisons that users and social media sites must work together to change. The, from the article, Social Media, the Enemy of Body Positivity by Allison Zimmerman, the quote furthers the reasoning of just how toxic and unhealthy how media can be when it comes to body images. Now, some people believe that social media has provided an outlet for body positive influencers and body positive content which has been able to offer healthy views on body images and body standards. But in the previous article, Zimmerman states, for many users, social media can do more harm than good. It allows for people to measure their self-worth and likes and allows too much comparison to others and gives too much time trapped in the world of unachievable, if not unhealthy, body expectations. This verifies the fact that media is horrible when it comes to a healthy mentality surrounding body images. Lastly, the article, social media is heavily responsible for body images. The author Rachel Choi states, platforms that boost people of a certain body type prey on the already fragile self-esteem of a lot of people, which leads to more money in the plastic surgeons and influencers who promote cosmetic surgeries, as well as the quote, current psychology says that because of social media posts that perpetuate unrealistic beauty standards, there has been an increase in requests to get surgery. Both of these quotes do a phenomenal job of exemplifying the mental impact women face based on what they're exposed to in media every single day. Due to media portrayals constantly burdening women, it often leads to serious mental health issues. The media provides images creating unrealistic and unhealthy expectations of body types, which then impact teens by making them develop mental health issues. Media in our modern day society portray specific body types that can be the cause of teens developing mental health issues. In Alison Zimmerman's article, The Enemy of Body Positivity, she speaks about how the media affects the mental stability of a person. She talks about how the media is like looking into a warped window and saying that the media is falsely portraying the realities of others, which causes mental health issues to arise and increase stress and pressure to be perfect. She then talks about the social culture of media and how it affects the mental status of people. Diagnosis of depression and anxiety have been on the rise because of the body idealism we see in media today. Being stuck in the mindset that everyone on media platforms are as perfect as they seem online in person, mental health issues begin to rise and are hard to break those unrealistic expectations. In Rachel Choi's article, Social Media is Heavily Responsible for Body Image, she takes a look into how media accounts emphasize and build off of already low self-esteem of many people. She states that the more time you spend on media, the worse your outlook is on your body. She also talks about the normalization of how easily someone who may have self-esteem issues are taught to fix themselves externally without seeking other help before resorting to damaging solutions. The media portrays those images and those ideal body types, which causes people to question their worth, increase their stress and anxiety, and cause them to make unhealthy decisions in the future. 
Due to teens developing mental health issues from the media portraying these body images and unrealistic body types, they turn to EDs to help them achieve these body types. Due to the mental burdens of media, drastic measures are often taken by women to achieve the impossible standards that have been thrown onto them. Often, these measures include the devastating extremes of eating disorders such as anorexia or bulimia. In the article, Studies Say Social Media Promotes Body Image Discussion by Kayla Mullinks, she uses the quote, Within three years of television being introduced to the region, the amount of girls who induced vomiting to control their weight increased by 11%, and the amount of girls scoring highly on a test for eating disorder risks increased by 16%. Also, the quote, Online communities dedicated to controlling losing weight have become increasingly popular on social media. Dr. Schwartz said these communities, known as pro-ana and pro-meta, pro-anorexic or pro-bulimic, serve as dysfunctional support groups. Both of these quotes are prime examples of the extremes women in society will take just to reach body standards that should not have been placed on them in the first place. Women will go from the extremes of eating disorders and pro-anorexic and pro-bulimic weight loss programs just to reach something they won't ever achieve. The author Allison Zimmerman also wrote in the article Social Media, The Enemy of Body Positivity, to back these claims up. In the article, she claims eating disorders are on the rise around the globe, and many experts attribute the surge, at least partially, to social media. The fact that eating disorders are on the rise right now and so is social media is no coincidence. Women are buying into the persuasion of the media and that their body isn't perfect until it appears the same as the one online. This is foolish because Im images online are often edited and not actually authentic. Are eating disorders really what we want to be encouraging upon our youth? Why are we still encouraging impossible standards from the media on teenagers who can develop serious mental health issues from these ideologies? Why is media allowing unrealistic body standards that can lead to developing mental health issues which creates bad habits? Media needs to find a way to prevent body image-based issues in our modern day society. So, is this what you want the standard to be for the future generations? Yes.